Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to share with you how we set up wireless network in an institution. In our scenario, we have five computer laboratories that we want to make it wireless, okay? We are going to use a unified manageable switch, of course, 24 ports, gigabit. Then we are going to use a cloud key to control the devices. This is where the software is going to run. And we are going to use, of course, the unified access points, all right? Yeah, so we will show you the overview of how we do it and these devices that we use. Yeah, so of course we are going to power on the cloud key and take note here that our switch is not POA capable, power over ethernet. So we are going to use the adapters that came with the packages, okay? So this is going to power up. And of course the switch is connected to our internet, which is that black cable and we are going to connect the cloud key to the switch. And the next one I need to do here is hook my laptop or a computer to configure the cloud key. While waiting for this one, the cloud key should be able to grab an IP address to the existing network. And there you go. That is 172.23.1.100, okay? So that's the IP address of our cloud key, which we can access on our laptop. Let's power in a couple of switches so that we can configure and test this device. So you'll see a light here. That means the switch is powered on. Then I'm going to plug this one to the switch so that it will be connected to the network. Now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the second one, just like the first one, and then plug it to the switch as well. You try to check the access point. It will turn blue, the light that was white a while back, that will turn blue. It means that it's going to be detected by the cloud key. So we jump into my computer and type in the IP address that the cloud key received. That is 172.23.1.100. You can see that one on the small display of the cloud key itself. Okay, so it's connecting to the internet. When you configure this one, you need to be connected to the internet, okay? Internet connected, this is our cloud key then of course you can see setup. Okay, so we are going to name the cloud key. It's up to you what name you would place there, but for this one, this is laboratory cloud key. Accept the terms, then go for next. Well, it's going to ask you to sign in to UI.com. So if you do not have an account, you create an account. For us, of course, we have an account, so we just log in. Then just wait for a few seconds. It's going to ask us for a backup. Those are other configurations that we did for this account. But for now, I'm just going to go and say, continue without backup. Yep. And then it's going to give you some of this configuration. You can go for next. Then this will be a quick summary of the account. Okay. Then let's just go ahead and finish up. It's going to start to set up your device. All right. Let's go ahead to network. And then in this section, you'll have your dashboard. Nothing's really there yet. Jump into the devices. Then you will see three devices. We have the switch and two access points that we plugged in. So the software is going to automatically scan these devices. And while it's scanning, somebody plugged another access point. So it detected that, and then I noticed that the switch went red and blue. Then I think it's going to go red again. So one thing I noticed was it has a different IP. So we can just simply fix that one later by just restarting it because it kind of grabbed a different IP address. But anyways, we can just continue and configure this. After that, we restart everything, and then that would, should turn blue, I mean green, and have the same IP network with the others. So I'll jump in and configure the Wi-Fi so that it's going to broadcast the Wi-Fi to our laboratories. So there's a video, we don't need that. Then we jump into Wi-Fi configuration and set the Wi-Fi. So first we need to place a name that would be lab Wi-Fi. Then we're going to turn on guest portal because we want everyone who is going to connect to the internet authenticate via a web, okay? So what I'm going to choose here is voucher. So we are going to issue students going inside the laboratory vouchers. We are not going to change anything here. We are going to use the default portal design of Unify. But if you want to change that one, you can. All right. 
So we're all set. I want to check that Wi-Fi um, setup that we did. Of course, I'm connected via LAN, but if I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi, I should be able to see lab Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect here, connect. And every time someone connects to the network, you don't need to input a password while connecting, but the web browser will pop up and it's going to ask you to input a voucher. Now, there are a lot of flexibilities here. You can give users around two hours, three hours, half day connection without entering a, um, a voucher, like what we have on public Wi-Fi. That's the scenario. But if you want to authenticate students or people in an area, you can ask for a voucher, which you issue. In addition to that, there are also capabilities wherein you can set the download limit of each user, how many data or what we say data cap and when can they connect to the network. Very good implementation into a campus-wide wireless network. Now, the next thing we wanna show you is how easy you can expand this one. So once you have already set up the cloud key, you can just add a number of access points without configuring, okay? So in our case, we need to configure this one in one location, set up all the access points. Once it's done, we just go in, hook it up in each of those rooms. And every time we want to add access points, we just go ahead and plug them and they are going to be automatically adapted to the network. Then they are going to download the same kind of configuration that we configured. And that's the beauty of automated configuration. By the way, this switch has a touchscreen display. Cool. And that is our cloud key. Those are our access points. Let's go check it on our PC. So all of them are here without any other configurations. They are connected to the network automatically and download those configuration. At the same time, you can go to the topology and it's going to map the connections. So you can see my laptop there that is Torogi Pro connected at five gigahertz AC and any other devices that are going to be connected to any Wi-Fi or directly connect to the switch will be mapped. So good way to troubleshoot, okay? You can also go to the client list and see the activities, download limits and connection time of each user. Well, that's for me guys. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have learned something. Okay, so if you have any questions and queries, just drop a comment down below and we'll try to answer them as much as we can. So that's it for me. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.